In the latest episodes of Shogun, Lady Ochiba Nokata captivates audiences with her enigmatic presence and unwavering determination. Her deep-seated hatred for Lord Toranaga fuels several pivotal moments in the story. By delving into her backstory, we uncover the reasons behind her animosity, how she wields her unexpected power, and how she navigates the treacherous political landscape of feudal Japan. Born Ruri, the daughter of the powerful daimyo Lord Kuroda, her life takes a devastating turn when Akechi Jinsai, acting under Toranaga's influence, betrays and murders her father. This event shatters Ruri's world, stripping her of her noble status and leaving her vulnerable in a society where power resides with men. However, Ruri possesses a quiet strength and a burning ambition that refuse to be extinguished. She strategically maneuvers her way into the service of the Taiko, the supreme ruler. This calculated move offers her a chance to be close to the center of power, potentially positioning herself for revenge or reclaiming some semblance of her lost life. Adapting the name Ochiba no Kata, meaning fallen leaf, signifies the loss of her past life, but also hints at a hidden resilience. While the name reflects her fall from grace, it also suggests a quiet strength, like a fallen leaf clinging to a branch, refusing to be completely swept away. Within the Taiko's court, Ochiba maneuvers her way into his favor and becomes his consort. A crucial turning point arrives when she miraculously bears him a son, Yaechio, the only heir. This elevates her position considerably. Ochiba transforms from a mere woman in the court to a mother, fiercely protecting her son's future, a future that could potentially see him reclaim the power Ruri lost. However, Ochiba's path is fraught with obstacles. She recognizes Toranaga, the very man who orchestrated her family's downfall, as a growing force within the court. His influence over the Taiko creates a constant source of tension. Ochiba sees Toranaga as a threat not only to her son's rightful claim to the throne, but also to her own aspirations for vengeance and a return to power. Episode 6 serves as a pivotal point for understanding the depth of Ochiba's resentment. Through flashbacks, we witness the bond between Ruri and Mariko, daughters of rival daimyos forced to navigate a web of political intrigue. This revelation is particularly poignant as it exposes Toranaga's hand in manipulating events that led to Lord Kuroda's demise. The memory of this betrayal adds another layer of fuel to the fire of Ochiba's hatred. While vengeance undeniably drives Ochiba, her motivations hold a deeper complexity. She understands that brute military force, something readily available to Toranaga, is not her weapon. Instead, she leverages her position as the Taiko's consort and the mother of the heir to cultivate strategic alliances. She forges a secret pact with Ishido, a powerful advisor, aiming to undermine Toranaga's influence. Furthermore, she recognizes the potential value of John Blackthorne, a Westerner with unique skills. Her subtle attempts to sway him to her side reveal a keen understanding of the value of unconventional alliances. Ochiba's pursuit of revenge is undeniably a powerful force. However, her fight extends beyond personal vendetta. She represents a fading power structure and a lineage teetering on the brink of irrelevance in a rapidly changing Japan. She embodies the desperate struggle to preserve tradition and family legacy in the face of a ruthless and ambitious adversary. While Ochiba and Toranaga are bitter rivals, their destinies are intricately intertwined. Her presence forces Toranaga to navigate the court with greater caution, preventing him from consolidating power too quickly. Conversely, Toranaga's rise as a dominant figure constantly threatens Ochiba and her aspirations. This ongoing tension fuels the narrative of Shogun and underscores the intricate power dynamics within feudal Japan. The miniseries concludes without a definitive resolution for Ochiba. She has succeeded in forming alliances and sowing seeds of doubt regarding Toranaga's loyalty. However, the effectiveness of these maneuvers remains to be seen. Her son Yaechio is still too young to assume the role of Shogun, leaving Ochiba in a precarious position. Her influence hinges on the boy's eventual rise to power, and any threat to Yaechio's future is ultimately a threat to her own. While the character of Lady Ochiba is captivating, it's important to acknowledge the creative liberties taken in the miniseries. Ochiba is loosely based on Yodo Dono, the historical consort of Toyotomi Hideyoshi, the Taiko in Shogun. Yodo Dono did indeed bear Hideyoshi a son, Hideyori, who became the heir after his father's death. However, unlike Ochiba, there's no evidence of a personal vendetta between Yodo Dono and Tokugawa Ieyasu, the character portrayed as Toranaga. 
The showrunners likely amplified the tension between Ochiba and Torinaga to heighten the drama and showcase the complexities of political maneuvering in feudal Japan. They also portray Ochiba as a more active player in the power struggle, whereas Yoda Dono's historical role is less well documented. Despite the historical discrepancies, Lady Ochiba remains a powerful and memorable character. She embodies the unwavering spirit of a woman who refuses to be defined by her fall from grace. Her journey showcases the cunning and manipulation required for women to navigate the treacherous world of power in a male-dominated society. Whether fueled by vengeance, ambition, or the fierce desire to secure a future for her son, Lady Ochiba leaves a lasting impression. She serves as a reminder that power comes in many forms, and even in the face of overwhelming odds, one can wield influence through strategic alliances, a sharp mind, and an unwavering will. The question of her ultimate fate, left unanswered by the miniseries, allows viewers to continue pondering the legacy of Lady Ochiba no Kada. Did her manipulations bear fruit? Did she secure her son's future? Or did she succumb to the ruthless machinations of her enemies? The ambiguity surrounding her destiny adds to the captivating nature of this complex and unforgettable character.